Good day everyone and welcome back to Clean Cut EDC. Today we are finally doing it. The battle of the budget, right? This is going to be awesome. I can't wait uh, because I still don't know yet, right? I I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to discuss it with you guys and figure it out as we go along. But we are stacking up two South African companies, Pickled Steel versus Honey Badger, to see who gives you the most, right? Both companies are awesome. I'm not taking anything away from either one of these. They are doing a fantastic job. They were created around the same time, but Pickled Steel only started uh, producing their own knives and, and OEM designs since uh, the end of, since December 2022. So basically since 2023. And uh, Honey Badger has been producing the Honey Badger since I think 2017, right? So both South African companies, both of these companies' knives are made in China. Um, so basically maybe this, even the same manufacturers, but different designs, different types of knives, and definitely a different price. And we are looking at seven, seven different categories today, right? First, we will discuss the price. We'll discuss the materials, the durability, the bolt quality, the action, the ergos, and the different range of knives that they have, right? So... I'm going to start off with, uh, with Pickled Steel and we will first just talk about the price, right? Okay. All three of these knives, we have here the Heindel, Pickled Steel Heindel, fantastic, fantastic knife. Strongest liner lock I've ever felt, right? The P-Bomb, which is awesome. The Joker, Pickled Steel Joker. And yes, you might see these under different names in other countries, um, or in America, Europe. But in South Africa, this is what they are called, right? And then we have the Honey Badger Large Tanto and a well-used Honey Badger Flipper. <laughs> Large Flipper. Okay. So, first up, price. All three of these pickled steel knives are 700 rand. Actually, 6.95. They are in the same size class as the Honey Badger Large range, right? The Honey Badger Large differs in price. The Flipper goes for... Uh, the flipper in HCR goes for like 750, 750 rand. So that is, how much is that in dollars? I'll just add it there. Okay, so 750 rand for a normal large flipper in HCR, right? The Honey Badger Large Tanto, the blacked out version, which we have here, um, in D2 blade steel. If you buy it as the blacked out version, it will be 1,300 rand, right? So that's quite a massive <laughs> price difference from the HCR. Really, Mr. Adida, are you going to do me like that? From the HCR to the D2, this is, um, is quite a difference in price, right? The other D2 models will be around 1,000, 1,100, um, the normal ones, the not, not the blacked out ones, right? Okay, so difference in price is 50 Rand compared to um, the Honey Badger Flipper in HCR is 50 Rand more than these three knives, the Honey Badger in D2 blacked out will be 600 Rand more, right? Than these two, of these three pickled steel knives. So I'm gonna give it to, um, just with regards to price, we'll, uh, we'll check the materials now, but with regards to price, what you're getting, I think pickled steel is one point up, right? Woo! Okay. Material wise, let's take a look at the materials. Let me just get the little tanter as a, a showing stick thing, right? A little pointer, right? Okay. The materials, these are all, besides this one, this one is in HCR. These ones are in D2, right? D2 uh, blade steel. So similar to the, to the large tanter. Same blade steel. These have a stone wash finish and a dual tone stone wash satin finish. This one has a DLC coated blade. These have these have a, a G10 scales. This has FRN scales. Liners, you guys can see the liners are quite a bit thicker on the pickled steel when compared to the tiny badger. Just a little bit thicker, not that much uh, more on the between the Heindel and the the um, large tanto than the P bomb and the large tanto, right? Okay, a uh, deep carry pocket clip on the Honey Badger, uh, high ride pocket clips on the pickled steel. 
So the difference, main difference is basically the, the scales, right? FRN versus G10. But now with that in mind, when talking about the materials, we now have to consider this is 600 Rand more than this, right? Basically the only difference, real difference here in material is that this is FRN, which is technically a less durable material than G10, right? And less desirable material than G10. Okay, so um, you pay more, but you're getting a little bit less with regards to materials from Honey Badger with regards to the D2. Now, the HCR flipper versus the HCR choker. We have a satin finish versus a stone wash finish. We have FRN versus micarta. So that's quite a big difference. The FRN is done as well as you can possibly do FRN on a knife uh, with regards to the honey badger. Maybe the Freya's FRN from Pickled Steel is a little bit better, but this is about as good as you can get FRN on a knife, right? Um, the, this one has a deep carry pocket clip. This one has a deep carry pocket clip. So the only real difference here is, once again, the scales. My Carta, much more desirable, much more durable than FRN. And um, yeah, this one is about, what, 50 Rand more than uh, the Joker, 50 to 100 Rand more than the Joker. So as far as price is concerned, Pickled Steel is definitely up one. As far as materials is concerned, they are very, very similar with regards to the materials used, but the scales do differ. Now, you can upgrade these scales to G10, but for the large, on Honey Badger's site, right, you will pay, I think it's something like 300 Rand for G10 scales, which would then make this knife, for example, compared to these, 900 Rand more, right? Just, just to match the materials on the pickled steel knives. It will, you will have to pay 900 Rand more for your Honey Badger knife in order to match the materials on your pickled steel knife. That means you can basically buy another pickled steel knife and still get 200 Rand change. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. I mean, that's just incredible. I, I mean, yeah. So with regards to materials, uh, pickled steel is etching it out by a little bit, right? Just a slight bit over Honey Badger. With regards to price, Pickled Steel is taking it by a landslide. So Pickled Steel is up 2-0. Durability. Now, the Honey Badger is branded as South Africa's toughest knife. I'm going to use these two just to create some space. The Honey Badger is branded as South Africa's toughest knife, right? Or Africa's toughest knife. And that is great for marketing and whatnot. But um, is it really that tough? Yes, this thing is tough as freaking hell. I've seen people chop with this. I've seen people, you know, put this through incredible tests. I will link that video actually where they did test a small D2 Honey Badger. Um, just excuse their language in the video, but I will link that video uh, in the description. So you guys can go see the durability of the Honey Badger. It is fantastic, right? Now, considering that, and you take the line down, G10 is more durable than FRN. It's thicker also than the FRN. So it has to be more durable. The liners on the Heindel is far, far, far more uh, thicker than the liners on the Honey Badger. Far thicker. By landslide, right? Uh, the blade stock thickness is just about the same as the Honey Badger. Actually, I think it's exactly the same as the Honey Badger. So I have to say, okay, the stopping pin on the Honey Badger might be slightly let's measure it up against one another slightly slightly bigger than the stopping pin on the Heindel from pickled steel so that is maybe a point honey badger. so stopping pin point honey badger um scales and liners two points pickled steel so pickled steel once again with regards to durability now that will differ from knife to knife because here they will be just about the same because the liners are similar in size, right? Um, but this one has a bigger stopping pin than the one on the P-Bomb. So, uh, so Honey Badger 1, equal in liners, and then G10, so Pickled Steel 1. So they'll be in a tie with regards to these two knives. But with this one, it's definitely etching out the Honey Badger by one point. So we have to give it once again to um, Pickled Steel for durability. So I've I think it's fair to say that it is not Africa's <laughs> toughest knife. It's freaking tough, guys. And don't get me wrong. You know, if you buy a honey badger, good on you. Um, it will serve you well. I love my honey badgers. I really do. And I, I use them quite often and they hold up fantastically well. 
but um, you are getting more durability with the pickled steel knife. Build quality, build quality, in my opinion, <sighs> yeah, that's a difficult one. I think it's, it's hard to say because the FRN on the Honey Badger makes it feel like a weaker quality, right? Or worse quality than the pickled steel knife. Um, but I, I would say they are constructed pretty equally. Um, no, it's very difficult. I think I'm going to give it a tie, right? With regards to the bolt quality. Because um, pickled steel has many different knives. I think personally that the Heindel is better bolt quality than the Tanto from, from Money Badger. And that the P-Bomb is better bolt quality than the Tanto from Money Badger. But there are other knives that I would say is exactly equal to Honey Badger. So I think I'm going to say, let's make the bolt quality a tie, right? Equal. Right, now let's talk about the action. Okay, so these can differ quite often. If we take a look at the action on the Joker, you can just see that thing is drop shot. The detent on the Joker is not as perfect for me as the detent, for instance, on the, the Honey Badger flipper. Now, do consider that these are uh, customized Honey Badgers. Um, they used to have the hardware and scales on this guy used to be on this guy. So I just switched it around because I love this look of the tan with the black. That's just awesome. But yeah, okay. So the, the detent on the Honey Badger for me is, is a bit better with regards to the, the flipper, with regards to the finger flick, when it comes to the Joker, all right? Um, the Joker is smooth as freaking hell. It is an, an incredible knife with regards to action. But the detent is is weaker than the one on the honey badger. That's just with regards to the Joker. The P bomb, right? Incredible action, basically perfect detent. Like you can honestly buy knives upwards of 10,000 Rand. Now I'm saying, I'm talking like 500 Rand plus and they won't have a better detent than this because this is as good as it can get with regards to the detent. So I think the detent for me on the P bomb is, is better than the detent on the honey badger. I think the honey badger's detent is a bit more stiff than the one on the P bomb. The P bomb is just right. Perfect for flipping, perfect for finger flicking. Compare it to um, the Heindel, right? The Heindel's detent and action is also very smooth. It's not as drop shutty as like the P bomb or the Joker, but it's a, it's still very, very good action. It comes flying out, especially for this large blade, right? Now, uh, cons considering that or matching that up against the Tanto, for example, the Tanto for me doesn't have a, a very good action. The detent is, it is very weak, right? I failed this knife countless times um, just because the detent isn't sitting right. And I don't know if it's because I switched out the liners, but that's not supposed to matter because they do brand this as customizable. So, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, so action wise, it's difficult because Money Badger really has a fantastic action, right? Because, but if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna measure it up like this, right? With regards to these knives from Pickled Steel, I'm gonna have to say the action is better for Pickled Steel. So action, action is better for Pickled Steel. Guys, I'm really, I'm not biased here. I mean, I'm trying to find something better, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so let's make another section. Let's make um, user friendly. User friendly, right? Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about user friendly. I think when it comes to user friendly, Honey Badger might be taking the pot of honey because uh, with regards to these knives now, right? With regards to these knives, Honey Badger has a deep carry pocket there. Um, that can that is slotted in incredibly well, right? It runs into the scale, and I think all knife companies should start looking at doing their pocket clips like this. You can switch out the little plate, switch it around. The screws are sunken. It's a true deep carry experience with regards to to the honey badger, right? The pocket clip is very sturdy, very well done. It's really fantastic in that regard. Now, also with that being said, your access to your liner from your left-handed position even though it's a, a right-handed liner, is quite easy. So you, as a lefty, can use this knife quite easily, right? So in that area, it's going to be better for me than people steal with regards to these knives. You can also do it with the, but it's just a bit easier um, for lefties, maybe with the honey badger. Yeah. Okay, so most people prefer a deep carry pocket clip 
The Picot Steel, these Picot Steel knives don't have deep carry pocket clips, they have high ride pocket clips. And it's for a specific purpose, but uh, if I'm looking at the overall, you know, most people, what they're using it for, how they carry the knife, stuff like that, they want concealability um, in the most cases, right? So uh, I have to give that maybe to Honey Badger now, one for Honey Badger with regards to how user friendly it is. Okay, Ergos. Ergos is very, very easy for me because all of the pickled steel knives are just exceptionally, exceptionally comfortable. Um, the Honey Badger knives, they sort of irritate my hand a little bit with the grip. I think it's a bit of an overkill. I love the honeycomb pattern and everything, but it's just uh, ergonomically, it's not great, especially with these sharp scales. If they were to round these scales, it would be absolutely perfect. Because now, if you have a Honey Badger at home, you don't agree with me, right? Take out your Honey Badger, grab it, and you'll feel, you'll feel these little edges pressing into your hand. I mean, it's minimal, but after working hard with it, having to grab it tight, um, you're going to definitely get irritated by that, right? And it's the same with all the scales. It's not just that one. Um, whereas these are well done, very, very smooth in the hand, very comfortable, soft in hand almost. Feels like I can work with this thing for hours. It won't bother me. Even the Joker, in my opinion, is a better ergonomical knife, right? Also just um, how you can choke up on this guy. Fantastic. So we have to measure that up against uh, against one another, yeah? Um, the Honey Badger has a fantastic choil. It really does, right? I think it's unbeatable in that area from, uh, when compared to many knives. It, the way you can choke up on a Honey Badger is, is really just awesome. Um, but this also has a very functional choil. And it's a less aggressive choil. I can still carve bolt on with this knife. Whereas with this guy, you're stealing quite a lot of the blade. Yeah, I'm basically only left with a sharpening choil <laughs> on the blade that's only only part that's been taken away and um i still have a choil with the flipper it's a fantastic design as a matter of fact so yeah i think uh, i think with regards to to the ergos a pickled steel is definitely taking the pot right maybe with the g10 scales it will be better but we're not comparing it to the g10 scales right now um because that would put honey badger even at a, a worse disadvantage with regards to price okay so ergos pickled steel range pickled steel now have pickled steel now <laughs> i mean they have about what like 35 something normal knives in the in the budget line so that we can compare to the honey badgers right i'm not talking about thai knives or damascus knives or maybe the premium knives i'm just talking about the budget line knives right so they have really a knife just about for every situation for every type of of edc person out there um yeah, so the Honey Badgers, they have eight well-done original designs. Pickled Steel also have original designs, but most of their designs are OEM designs, right? Which is not a problem. Um, but, yeah, I mean, with, with Honey Badger's design, when you see this, you're definitely going to know it's a Honey Badger, right? It's a, it is owned by Honey Badger, this design. And uh, they have eight designs. They have the Tanto, which we have here. They have the Flipper. They have the Opener, which is basically the Flipper with the Opener. Um, up here they have the claw which is a carabit style knife they have the worn cleaver which is probably the most desirable one from them that's what it looks like they have a a gut or a hook knife yeah gut hook knife um, for hunting purposes and they have the honey badger tong which uh which is not really sold overseas. It's only in South Africa and it's made specifically for eating boltong. <laughs> so that just gives you an idea of how obsessed South Africans are with boltong. <laughs> the company is just bringing out the knife specifically for boltong. That's crazy. Um, okay, so the range with regards to, to pickled steel is bigger. There's a, a greater chance that you will find a knife that's suited to your needs, um, your everyday uh, carry experience, right? What you want to carry with you for far greater um, probability that you will find it at pickled steel then you will find it at honey badger so with regards to range i also have to give it to pickled steel um, i think it's fantastic that honey badger has uh, you know eight original designs that's just honey badgers it's fantastic that they have customizability which is also part of the of the user friendly section which they already uh, won but yeah i think uh, i think with regards to just um, price materials durability action ergos we're coming out with um in range we're coming out with six out of eight right for pickled steel that guys is it's 
that's crazy. And honestly, I am I'm I'm just I'm not biased at all. If Pickle Steel would lose this, then they lose this, right? But I wanted to show you guys what you're getting from both of these companies and how they stack up. Price, massive difference between these two companies. Materials, not such a big difference, um, but Pickle Steel taking it by a landslide in, in most cases. Durability is you can argue it when you compare it to different knives from pickled steel but with these knives durability is going to be on the side of pickled steel build quality i'm going to say is uh, maybe even and um action uh, i'm going to give it to pickled steel they really know how to dial in a detent and only approve knives um, and designs that have a very very well done detent and great action ergos definitely pickled steel um range definitely pickled steel and uh, user friendly it's going to be honey badger because it's easier for a left-handed person to work with a honey badger knife it's not that it's not easy with the pickled seal it's just easier with the honey badger you can switch out the the pocket clip where you can also do that for um pickled seal but many knives are only right hand side tip up um whereas honey badger you can right or left hand side tip up or tip down it is highly customizable um, i've seen some awesome designs that people are doing with the honey badgers and we will definitely do a mod at some stage for honey badger but until then guys pickled seal are reigning supreme with uh, six to uh, six one tie and one loss right <laughs> so it is really the best bang for the buck you're getting the most out of it take it from someone who has loved honey badgers um since the start you know i've been dreaming about honey badgers i even asked my fiance to buy me an engraved honey badger for our wedding and right now i'm like yeah i don't think i'm going that route anymore you know she should rather save her money and buy me another pickled steel knife <laughs> but yeah anyway guys have a great day have a knife day and i was happy to do this comparison this battle both companies are fantastic if you choose honey badger that's great you know you're getting a fantastic knife it's true if you're choosing pickled steel you're going to get a little bit more for your money but whatever you want whatever fits your needs go for that option remember no knife means no life awesome